Uh, and in networks, there's something called the friendship paradox, which says uh, basically your friends are more popular than you are. So if you count up the number of friends that you have, um, and then you, you ask each of your friends how many friends they have, on average, you'll find that your friends uh, are more, uh, have got more friends uh, than you do yourself. And that's just a fact about social networks. It applies to um, all of us. It's just too bad. Um, sorry, Chris, your friends have more friends than you do. Uh, and so do mine. I'm going to have to stop you there. That, that makes no sense. Uh, could, you, could you talk us through how that can possibly work? Sure. If you imagine, uh, you know, this social network as every sort of dot in the network uh, is a person um, and every friend puts a, a connection, a link between uh, the different people, the different nodes in this network. So long as every, uh, as every person doesn't have exactly the same number of friends, so some people have got more friends than others, um, then if you count up the number of friends of friends, you do some double counting. So if you, um, if you and I have um, a friend in common, um, let's say someone called Megan, um, then if you count the number of uh, my friends, uh, then it's, well, I'm gonna say it's two, because I've got you and Megan are my friends. Uh, and if I count up uh, your friends, you have Megan as a friend, uh, but you might have other people as your friend. Uh, and if Megan is a very, very popular person, then she's got lots of friends. Right. So Megan is friends with both of us and she's very, very popular. Right. So if we count up the number of friends and friends, if we do this for everybody in the population, then we do some double counting of this very popular person, Megan. Um, so we count up uh, her friends, you know, multiple times. And so that means uh, that if you count up uh, people's friends of friends, we do double counting of Megan. Uh, and that means friends of your friends. Uh, your, yeah, your friends tend to have more friends than you do. So it's called a friendship paradox. Um, it is, uh, uh, you know, the paradox means it's slightly counterintuitive, um, but mathematically it's quite, uh, it's quite simple and it's just true. Um, and it means that on average, your friends are more popular than you are. And that, uh, that assumes a finite number of people within the network. It's, it's, it's not a changing network. If you take a snapshot at any moment, that is always true. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's very, very general, uh, this paradox or this, this theorem, I guess you could call it. Um, it holds in any, uh, in any type of network except very, very strange ones where everybody has the same number of friends. So this has been proven in a, a number of different um, cases. So the original study dates back to 1991 and it looked at a high school. So somebody went out and count, counted the number of friends that uh, all the children in the playground had and then counted the number of friends of friends that they had and found this. Uh, it's been shown on Facebook. Uh, we've shown that this holds on Twitter to a very extreme degree. Um, uh, it hold, holds in mobile phone networks uh, and things like this. So this is an this is certainly an empirical fact.